So, good afternoon. The topic that I will discuss is continuation of the report of Ate Jane under chapter 14, the methodology of history. Under that, I will discuss to you the metaphysical history followed by historical explanation as art and lastly, historical events and social laws. In this chapter, we will discuss or I will discuss to you all about the history or the past. How we can build as a human uh, being the describing of our philosopher or our philosopher. First, we have the metaphysical history, what it is all about. In this chapter, we have so far paid no explicit attention to what is often described in the literature as the philosophy of history. This phrase refers to notions that past events are manifestations of a universal design, the apprehension of which is the chief task of the historian. This is the covering law model. What is the, all about the covering law model? Model of explanation according to which to explain an event by reference to another event. Meaning, an, an explanation of event or what happened. Just when I said a while ago, the present through the future or the past to the present necessarily proposes an appeal to laws or general general propositions correlating events of the type to be explained with events of the type seated as its causes or conditions it is rooted in David Hume's. Who is David Hume's? Doctrine that when two events are said to be carefully or casually related, all that is meant is that they state certain regulatories of succession that have been repeatedly observed to hold between such events in the past. This doctrine was given more generous explanation by the logical positivism according to Charles Hempel, 1905 to 1997. Who is David Humes? David Humes was born on May 7, 1711 in Inverge, Scotland. He died on August 25, 1776 at the age of 65 in Inverge, Scotland. A notable works a query concerning the principles of morals, a testis of human nature, an equity concerning human understanding, history of England, essays moral and political so he is a philosopher historian economism or economism and easily known as especially for his philosophical empiricism or empiricism and scatinism so refers a term historicism, Karl Popper and F. A. Hayek and Mr. F. Isaiah Berlin, Arto Naro. In short, a demon by Naro Makitid. Refers to its metaphysical or metaphysical history because it approaches historical event in the metaphysical mode that is an terms of their essential nature rather than their concrete appearances. So, bakit sinabing a metaphysical, 
a metaphysical history is concrete appearances. Kasi po dito sa metaphysical history is gino, ina-under niya yung paano nangya, paano ganito ang kinalabasan. Kumbaga, sa past natin, ano ang magiging kapalaran, kumbaga, as a human, as a person. So, we have a lot of history under the Big Bang Theory, how the universe, or how, uh, paano nagkaroon ng human? Paano nagkaroon ng tayo, mga tao? Paano tayo na-build? Something like that. There have a lot of explanation about the our history. Medyo complicated nga lang pong intindihin itong nasulat ng ating mga philosopher kasi hindi naman po tayo philosophy. So, pan po. So, paano natin ma, ano yung paano natin mala, natin malalaman? So, later on, madidiscuss ko yan under sa letter D. History, according to this view, is the process by which in the inner design of the world is processive realized. So, history, according to the view, paano na proseso o paano nagkaroon ng ganito? For example, paano nagkaroon ng tao? Paano nagkaroon ng universe? O paano malalaman yung what happened? paano nagkaroon ng universe. So, we will study about the history to know about what is happening in the past. So, para maklaro sa atin kung ano ang nangyari sa past, paano nagkaroon ng ganito, ng human, paano nagkaroon ng universe, paano nagkaroon ng animals, something like that. So, kailangan natin malaman sa history or sa past para malaman kung paano naging nabuo yung proseso, paano nangyari yung proseso. You get it what I mean? So, discovering the one in the many. One in the many is kumbaga from the word history. Iisa lang siya, pero they have a lot of analysis. Many, kumbaga, kailangan natin mag-research all about that kailangan ng kasagutan. Is therefore the task of the historian rather than analytical philosopher since one of the concretely manifest as dynamic force in the sentential event events that are the historian studies. So, ayun na nga. Kumbaga, from the word one in the many, so, kumbaga, sa history, malalaman natin paano nagkaroon ng universe. That is the one topic. But, there have a lot of many. Kung nagre-research tayo, they have a lot of many answer. So, malalaman natin yun, yung sagot. Kasi, there have a lot of answering that we need as a historian to study or studies. Began to colonize the territory of history with Darwin theory of organic evolution. So, so, nabanggit po dito ang pangalan ni Darwin's theory of the organic evolution. So, dito po, sa theory na ito, is metaphysical history was a powerful intellectual force. Take note, powerful intellectual force with intimate links to other important developments in 19th century. True most notable Romantinism, Socialism, and Nationalism. The idea that the one 
that is the many is revealed in history can be found in many 18th century and early 19th century writers. So, yun na po yung nasabi ko kanina about sa the one in the many. So, the idea that the one is too many, so, according to Karl Menger in his fierce polemic against the German historical school of econism. So, matatakil, natakil po siya and sa chapter 9. Observe that the various proponents of philosophy of history agree that there is an inner essential security at work within history phenomenal diversity, but identity or identify it quite differently. So, one po siya. Ito po yung sa metaphysical history is the powerful intellectual force. Kasi po, gaya nga kanina, discovering the one in the many, isa lang siya, but there have a lot of something to learn or something to research, to study, studies the historian or as a historian how to build or how it will become sa past natin. So, next, Rene Descartes or Rene Descartes on method in the year 1637 western philosophy has been much concerned with the mind-body problem. So, dito na po pumapasok yung mind-body problem. Meaning, tayo as a human, meron tayong isip o may isip tayo with our body na nagkakaroon ng problem. Why? Kasi po, ang isip natin nagpapagalaw sa ating body to kung concerned with deal or to deal with our problems. Did you get me? For example, uh, as we, as a human, we have our mind to think and we have a body to move. But there have a problem to concern with our mind and body to solve the problem. Okay. Metaphysical history appealed to the romantics by assuring them that despite their defeats of the previous two centuries on the field true and practice, ultimate victory would be theirs. For human history has a transcend purpose or goal. So the metaphysical history history have a purpose or goal to study one in the many. In nasabi ko kanina kasi na iisa lang po ang problem but there have a lot of answering to study ng ating mga historian. Especially sa atin, pag nagre-report tayo, hindi lang naman tayo or hindi lang naman tayo sa isa nagbe-base. Which is they have a lot of resources to study something or to study uh, a history or any topic so we can understand what we say or telling information with others. Okay? So, we have or the next one is all about the historical explanation as art. In Hempel's 1942 essays or essay, he contrasts his methodological thesis with the familiar view that genuine explanation in the history is obtained by a method which characteristically distinguishes or distinguishes the social form the social from the natural sciences, namely the method of 
empathetic understanding. According to this view, the historian must go beyond the specific imperial evidence revealed through examination of documents and statistics. So, dito po pala sa historical explanation as an art, kailangan po ng documentation and statistics. Documentation, ito po yung mga, for example, is mga picture, picture ng past na meron pa rin sa future. For example po na alam ko is yung mga gawa ni Dr. Jose Rizal. So, yung mga napatay yung mga statue. For example, sa Ateneo, sa, U, sa UP, something like that. Yung mga statue doon na pinatayo. Then, yung mga example po ng documentation statistics. Mga information sa mga internet na kwan. Kasi ngayon, kahit super bata pa natin o yung mga iba is they have a knowledge from the past just because of the help of the documentation and the statistic so mapapag-aralan na nila kung ano mga ba o ano nangyari sa past just because of the help of the documentation and the statistic yan po ang explanation about the historical explanation as art He must study the general culture of the time and place, its literature, art, language, etc. So, yung language po, ito po yung how they write, yung Tagalog, Ilocano, English, whatsoever, the time and place. So, saan naganap? Actually, kung nagre-research naman tayo, may... May kwan naman kung saan na-publish, kung saan nangyari yung kwan. Just for example, history ni Rizal. So, yun po ang about sa historical explanation as art. So, what life was like? How people true their hopes and fears disconcerned or conception of themselves, their society, and the world. Only by such means can be historian who belong to the Kwan culture give an accurate and permanating account of event that took place in another. So, ito po kasi is yung, for example, yung mga Kwan na lang sa naganap ng mga World War II, yung mga tao noon doon na nabuhay until ngayon. They can share how they live in that uh, past. So, sa bilong po, yung kinabibilangan po ng taong yun, yung mga nakakasama niya or kwan, something relatives, mga apo, apo, ganyan, ganyan, sa tukod, sa kung ano-ano. They adapting uh, lesson or they adapting culture with that person or with that human they adapting because by sharing idea or sharing something with her or with his relatives so Hempel's notes are uh, proportionally different enterprise or enterprise from physics or biology more like one of the arts than any the natural sciences this view is frequently encountered the debate over historical method, often under the ubic of a German term, West or were a verse the hand, which means to understand, as opposed to reason to know. So, pa, take note, understand, intindihin, para malaman. Did you get what I mean? Iintindihin natin yung isang sequence para magkaroon, para malaman natin. Most proponent names is the most 
uh, in the 20th century. <coughs> so, most of that, kasi po, most of that is yung mga nabanggit po dyan o mga nakasulat po dyan na sila creation of this view of Max Weber, Bernard, Bernadetto, Crocs, and so on. There are aspects of Vigo's view of history that identity or identify him as a metaphysical historian. Since he believed that historical events reflect when he made the world. <clears throat> Ito po yung sinasabi ko kanina na this were noted the previous section. Here we are concerned with Vico's espimetology. This is view of how man who is not God. Take note. His view of how man who is not God can conduct an epitermial investigation of history. Kasi po, sa mga philosophy o sa mga scientists, mostly sa kanila is, they have a lot of belief or how they can, paano ba to? how they can believe the reader o yung mga nagbabasa, yung mga researcher about their works. Only God knows history in its totality because he made the world but the specific events of history can be understood by the human intellect says Vico si Vico po kasi is he believed that only God knows history in its totality si Vico po he believed that mm, Ang mundo natin, only God. Si God lang po ang nakakaalam ng history ng mundo. Kasi po, ginawa niya ang mundo, ang world. According to Vico, Vico's belief. Also, ganun na din naman tayo as a person or as a human because we have a lot of different uh, beliefs I have a lot of different traditions, cultures marami, iba't iba yung pinaniniwalaan natin for example, andyan ang Big Bang Theory, paano na buo ang tao andyan ang Biblical andyan ang a lot of theory paano nga ba na buo ang word but mostly sa ating mga Christian we only believe that tayong mga tao at ang mundo ay ginawa ng ating Panginoon. Mostly, dyan po tayo naniniwala as a Christian. But, we have a lot of theory, kaya nga nang nasabi ko kanina, how the world, or how, paano nagkaroon ng world. So, because they are made by human actions. So, the historian shares the quality of humanity with those men, great and small, whose actions create phenomena of history. This enable him to enter inside historical process, thus achieving a subjective understanding of that is more profound than the objective knowledge attainable by the natural scientist who is content to remain outside the Pino or the outside the phenomena he studies calling his book new science in the year 1725 he meant to contend by the science of philosophy for Nietzsche's the most precious and most incredible form of human knowledge so si Vico's po meron po siyang book or his book calling New Science. In the writing of Bernard Benedet, Benedetto Croc, Croc, Cross and R.G. Collingwood, we find a strong reformation of these views. Marami po kasi lang mga philosophies, philosopher na 
mga view kung paano yung paniniwala nila. So, because of their research or their belief. So, next is the importance of economic geography geographic and other materials factor in history is not de denied but there are made surrounded to the mental factors of the motivated men to act as they did the historian must know the facts but he must more importantly understand the mentalities of those whose actions created the events of history and uh, he can accomplish this by transporting himself so to speak into their mind so the historian according to this point of view is like an actor who trained in the method school of Constantine is can or oh, Spanish Lovsky plays a role by becoming the character so so ang, ang mga historian po natin is they viewed her or her himself her or himself like an actor who trained in the method method school of chuchuchu na yan method of constantine is that way kumbaga nag-aaral sila o meron yung place nila na kailangan nilang mag-aaral. Japan ang tayo, kailangan din natin pumasok sa school to learn. Ganon din po sa kanila. Plays a role by becoming the character. So, kumbaga, paano nila magagampanan yung being sila o bilang sila ay historian. Bilang sila na historian or paano sila magiging how they become the concept of scientific history history and theory in the year 1960 so lastly we have the historical events and social laws this is the last in the preceding section, I have talked about historical phenomena and historical events without offering any definition of them. This is not a uh, unproblematic as it may first appear. The events that took place at Pearl Harbor on the morning of 7 December in the year 1941 can be called historical. An unloose sense, but their specific historical importance may be various described. For example, as the bombing of Pearl Harbor by Japanese aircraft, the attempt by the Japanese to obtain naval phenomena in the Western Pacific, the entry of the United States or the U.S. into the Second World War. The beginning of a new phase in the struggle between democracy and destructorship, and so on. As historical phenomena events do not carry natural descriptions and different historians will describe them differently, each adopting a different focus of his narrative, depending upon whether he sets out to write a military history a political history, an economic history, a religious history, and so on. Historical events and social laws po, dito po, he tackled about what happening in the past, or paano nang, anong nangyari sa past, from the word historical events. Kaya nang nabanggit dito, about sa Pearl Harbor, meron siyang date, meron yung place, the time, a year and so on and social laws meaning may mga batas po kasi rito na kailangan nilang sundin or meron po yung mga historian dito na nag-describe a different narrative depending sa they want to do to write about the military history about what they happened for that in that past 
and the political history kung paano nga ba nagkaroon ng ganyan, paano yung pamamalakad ng politika nila o yung mga namumuno sa government under that at paano yung galaw ng economic nila o economic history nila noong nangyari po yan and paano nagkaroon ng ganyan nakaka-affect ba dito ang religious nila, religious belief culture, tradition and so on A history of the World War of 1812 can be written without any necessary reference to war as a general social phenomena. Kumbaga, nung, nung, war, nung war, nung 1812, is without references, without references, sabi, to war. So, meaning, Uh, siguro po dito is kasi nasabing without any references kasi po dito under po ng letter D is all about the historical events kung ano lang ang nangyari and then yung mga social laws na ano nga ba yung mga patakaran and so on the long tradition of narrative history now in the decline in the proper subject matter of history is politics The actions of governments and their leaders, ito na yung sinasabi ko kanina, how they act their government, paano yung pamamalakad ng government nila, o yung mga leader nila, paano, how they can handle the problem. A traditional narrative history of the war of 1812 would necessarily have a good deal to say about economics, geography, etc. But its main emphasis would be on the political events in the U.S. or the United States, Britain, and the Canadian colonies. One need to not claim the social science can explain events like wars in order to do so a law of war would indeed have be advanced and few social scientists are bold enough to do that. Instead, social science laws are deemed to apply to economic and social conditions and the same laws apply to conditions that are not at all restricted to wars. So, wala po silang explanation about sa war kasi po sa letter D po natin is all about historical events kung ano po ang nangyari that happened in that year and how they are social laws uh, actions or how they can act our gov- their government and so on and that's all for this afternoon thank you for listening and watching